I wonder first, before we play you some of the really devastating audio that's come out from the border, what in general you make of, the, of what's happening there right now? This, po this policy, the separation of families, can best be described as morally reprehensible, anti-Christian, and anti-American. It is completely unnecessary, without a doubt. It is egregious. This week, Ted Cruz, Diane Feinstein, John Corn, and others are bringing an end to this tragic policy. Act. We've had great intentions, by the way, against human <laughs> And then this, the U.S. Circuit Court of Appeal in 2016 expanded the Flores Settlement and the Global Force Act. So it's actually the Trump administration implementing policy already in place with zero sort of grace. Again, it's wrong. It's, it's morally reprehensible. It's anti-Christian. I'm calling upon Congress and the president to act as soon as possible. <laughs> to protect our border. I agree with the president. We have to stop illegal immigration for many purposes, even for a moral imperative to end sex trafficking and human slavery and the penalties exploiting people on the border, without a doubt. But this is not the best way to get the message across. In the matter of fact, I find it to be reprehensible to use children as tools of political expediency. So, Reverend, I want to say you this audio that has really been shocking people. It's come from ProPublica. It's a non-profit investigative journalist operation. And it's audio that was taped of these children at the border in severe stress and distress. Let's just listen. <laughs> Reverend, I saw you shaking your head there. You know, you know what's ironic? I'm moved by this. Let me tell you why. For those that don't understand the Spanish vernacular in your audience, the border agent is actually saying, well, look what we have here. We have an orchestra playing. Uh, what we need is a conductor. My God, are crying out for help, crying out for dad, crying out for parents. This is so wrong. What we're hearing right now, by the way, what we're hearing right now is the crescendo of voices. A base that supports, by the way, strongly supports his president on religious liberty, on life issues, on so many issues that expand. Love, race, and hope. So we support the president on this.